Hi guys, this is an audio recording for um, the air signs. I believe I would do the air signs at this moment, uh, 2023. What to expect for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, if you have moon and earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Venus and Mercury in water and or fire signs you know the water signs cancer pisces scorpio and the fire signs Aries, leo sagittarius um also if you've got mars or your ascendant in air signs gemini libra aquarius if you've got your jupiter in air signs gemini libra aquarius if you've got saturn in water signs cancer pisces scorpio also if you've got your north node in fire signs Aries, leo sagittarius Definitely these messages may, uh, you may resonate with them. Well, definitely you're going to resonate with them one way or another. You know, uh, I've been saying uh, the, the numbers to pay attention during the year of 2023, um, specifically uh, numerology four and numerology seven. Okay. Uh, we're dealing with the fourth house, the moon, or emotions, home, final resting place. And, you know, um, Pluto enters Aquarius next year. Um, and so, you know, some people don't want to hear this, but it is what is, it is. Aspects and transits, they mean, you know things you know numbers they mean things and a lot of people are going to feel the hand of just a shade i don't know if you heard that car horn tooting okay that's from across the street 111 so um everybody going to be feeling the hand of justice whether it's if you listen to the previous videos for the earth signs and the fire signs whether it's on the positive end of the justice spectrum or the negative end and it's pretty much um in regards to um what has been transpiring in your lives uh for the past few years for the past specifically okay for some including the present and also future believe it or not um for air signs here here's up what's up your justice, you are going to feel your justice on a physical plane. A ten, your justice, more than all the other signs, are going to be tangible. And because your fifth house is in air, your ninth house is in air, your first house is in air, your, because it's going to also be physical and tangible, is going to be uh, for all to see more than any of the other frequencies. For the other frequencies, like specifically like the fire signs, which some of them, depending on their other aspects, are, you know, their justice will be seen, okay? Because they rule the fifth, the first, and the ninth house, which is, you know, um, is not hidden. Those houses are not hidden. They're pretty much out in the open for everybody to see. Um, the, the earth signs, their justice is more internal, more, more like what next year's energies are like, the fourth house, how they feel. And a lot to do with the past, present, and future. Theirs is more about time and how they feel. A lot of healing for some of these earth signs and you know of course the opposite if you know uh you know if if one was an earth sign afflicting another earth sign specifically we move into the you know the, the, the air signs like i said justice will be more on a tangible matrix kind of plane physical plane and it will be exposed for people to see especially those who, you know, I don't want to say especially for those who got a certain placement. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me just leave that there. So, 
Yeah. We got um, mental illnesses manifesting in some of these earth signs. And I'm feeling this especially strong for those who try to project mental illness onto other onto others. I am also feeling this strongly for um, those who have done a lot of wickedness over the years, over the months, weeks, and days. They are going to be in a frequency of uh, regret and remorse. And a lot of times there are things that happens and manifest that triggers regret remorse and what's going to really trigger regret and remorse for the toxic air signs are um beautiful justice manifesting for others whether it's another air sign an earth sign a fire sign or a water sign okay um i i i uh, I know I don't want to say that because water is, is feminine. Okay. Let's talk about some of the beautiful energies coming in for air signs. Financial stability. Some of you may not have any money right now or you may have little money to your savings account that's gonna change i do see help coming in financial support and you know this is definitely coming from an ex okay this is most likely to come from not just an ex, but somebody. This could even be a sibling who, you know, um, you had a turbulent relationship with. But somebody who is going to fe be feeling a lot of regret and remorse for what they did um, is going to be offering financial support. You could be the one offering this air sign. Specifically, if you have an aspect in Sun and Libra, this could be Moon in Virgo, this could be Venus in Cancer, this could be North Node in Leo, this could be Mercury in Leo, this could be, you know, um, Mercury in Scorpio, this could be um, Venus in Sag. You could be the one that's, that's if you're on the shitty end of, of, of the justice spectrum who will be offering financial support to somebody who you've wronged in the past. Okay? So this could be somebody, this could be somebody passing and leaving an inheritance to another person. Um, yeah. This could be somebody coming into some money and, you know, sharing this money with another person who they wronged. And let me touch on the love aspect, specifically for studying Libra. A lot of you are going to realize that you are in love with a Virgo. And this could have been a Virgo who you had a lot of anger towards. This could have been a Virgo who you hurt. You are going to be missing a Virgo loving Virgos, loving, realizing that you are in love with a Virgo during the year 2023. And if this is you, I know you already feel and sense this, this energy manifesting, seeping in. Okay? So if this is a Virgo X, all of a sudden, because of the transits coming in, you're going to realize that you are in love with this Virgo. And it's really fucked up if you did this Virgo really, really wrong. Okay? So, if, if you're on the shitty end of the justice spectrum, this could be you trying to offer love, 
financial support, whatever, to get back with this Virgo. This could be a model. doesn't got to be somebody who's a sun in Virgo. could be somebody born in the earth, a snake. But it could also be a model. This could also be an immigrant. This could be somebody who um, was somewhat foreign to you. Y'all could have could live in the same country, but different counties, different parishes. And maybe that this person ventured to your home parish at a point and you met them or vice versa. But there, they, there are some immigrants of some kind. They could be a spiritualist. They could be a native um, Indian. They, yeah. This could be somebody who was just very helpful to you. Okay, this, you know, could be the only lover you've had that was pretty much very helpful. Um, you know, where relationship and, you know, you know, put in energies and receiving energies were concerned. This could be someone who's just very fair, very helpful, very caring. I see, you know, you guys stepping into that frequency, whether it's because you feel guilty or whatever. You know, I see the spirits coming down on some people next year, tormenting and afflicting a lot of people. You know, that nine of swords frequency, I see it strongly. I also sense that, I sense fear, that's also that nine of swords. Now, if this is somebody who you deserted, or if if somebody, if you, if this is somebody you deserted, and um, you left them for a mistress, or you left them for somebody, yeah, you left them for somebody who you thought was better, you left them for an opportunity, meaning you were very opportunistic in the past. Um, I see you, this could be realizing that the person who you thought was, uh, better than this person, this Virgo or this model is actually no, has nothing on this person. And I see you, um, I see some of, some of you, I see you, um, Wanting to return to this person in the past, this Virgo, this model, this immigrant. And um, there's a fear. Though you're trying to give them everything that you can possibly give to them to make the skills even. There's a fear that this person is going to do to you. That is, if they welcome you back into their lives you, you are afraid that they're going to do to you what um you did to them which is to leave you for somebody who can offer them a better opportunity i also see uh people you know being afraid of falling in love because some people you know meddled in you know meddled into uh, in other people's relationships and they're afraid of karma they're afraid of facing karma that the same thing is going to happen to them because they interfered in other people's marriages relationships and they are now they're gonna there's gonna be a strong stench of fear and experience in fear and worry that the past is going to catch up with them, whether this is you or somebody else you're dealing with. Um, I do see somebody coming into money strongly. For some of you, it's a whole lot of money. For some of you, not that much. But this could be because something ends, whether a relationship ends, or this could be, you know, so this could be divorce money, you know. But this could be, um, yeah, it could be alimony, whatever, or palimony. Do they got palimony? Is that where the wife pays the husband, that the, the ex-wife pays the ex-husband? I don't know. Alimony. Um, this could also be, uh, like I said, in, an inheritance. I think I said this, not sure. 
you know, an elderly family member passes and leaves an inheritance for for you or for someone else. Okay. Um. So those energies are mostly for Librans and people born during the year of the horse. Okay, so this could be a parent, a grandparent. Uh, could specifically, if it's a parent, be a father leaving an, inher an inheritance for you. Okay, this person seemed to had seemed to have had a lot of money saved up, unbeknownst to the family, unbeknownst to you, you know. And yeah, they were saving money. You know, maybe this person knew they were sick. Somebody knew they were sick. This could be um, the sickness of the blood. You know, but this could also be leukemia. This could be AIDS. This could be whatever. This could. This is a sickness, and I feel like somebody knew they were sick. Someone has known they were sick. And I feel like they've been saving money for their death. Saving money, you know, to leave for their child or their children. And this could also be an ex. Um, of course, this doesn't have to be a son in Libra who's going to pass. This could be somebody who's got any of these aspects in Libra. Whether this is somebody who's a moon in Virgo, a Venus in Cancer, a North Node or Mercury in Leo. Okay? Um, let's move on to some of these other energies. Um, some air signs are going to feel very depressed. And this is because of the passing and the death of somebody. A mother, specific, this is specifically for somebody born in the year of the dog or sun in Aquarius, a mother is going to pass. And this isn't some, a mother who is young. I'm not sensing that this is somebody who is old or who's getting there. Okay, um, this could be breast cancer. Or this could be ovarian cancer, but I'm more getting specifically breast cancer. Yeah, I'm more getting breast cancer. Um, it could be otherwise. It could be other cancers, but specifically breast cancer. This could be an Aquarian or somebody born in the year of the dog being diagnosed with breast breast cancer prostate cancer, uh, ovarian cancer. This could be somebody, specifically if this person got a moon in Capricorn. I see a moon in Capricorn, Aquarius, you have the dog individual passing between 2023. Because guess what? Pluto enters Aquarius 2023. And that, that, that means the death and transformations are going to be unexpected and sudden. People never expected ish to manifest. It's like things are going to take a wild, sudden turn. Once 2023 brings in, especially once Pluto begins its transit into the frequency of Aquarius. Deaths are going to be sudden. And a lot of people are going to be taken aback. And there is going to be death surrounding you, air signs. Whether it's your own death or death of loved ones, exes, lovers, spouses, friends, neighbors. There is going to be death surrounding you. 2023. Let me just tell you that. Okay? And this is going to happen so suddenly. When you least expect it, it's going to happen. Okay? 
Um, I feel like it is going to be even more setting for Aquarians. And people born during the year of the dog. People who got a moon in Capricorn. It's going to happen just way more sudden than other signs. Because of that Aquarius frequency. I do sense somebody passing in their sleep. Most air signs will transition and pass will pass in their sleep. And not all of them, but most of them. I see a lot of these deaths being at home. I also see car accidents. Also, you know, dying in hospitals. But I'm more getting at home, in bed, at nighttime. Most of these deaths do will be at nighttime. in bodies of water also so this could be a crash into a lake into a pond into a river a body of into the sea a body of water at night time specifically and if this isn't in a car a vehicle this is at home in bed or a hospital bed but more so i sense at home if not in a vehicle. Um, for, you know, the surviving relatives, I do sense that um, it will be a long period of grief. But I also get that these people who will be transitioning, they have a lot of, they, they, I don't want to say a lot of wealth. That's why I say, you know, these are mostly people who are, okay, let's say, for example, misers, if this is a younger person. But for most, it's, it's somebody who's older. Somebody who's very mature, who has lived, who has lived. Or let, let me not say lived, you know, there's a difference between existing and living. This is somebody who's existed. Let me just say that. These are people who have existed, people who are aged. So specifically this, you know, air signs who are aged will be passed in a lot of air signs. A lot of air signs, specifically if they have an aspect in Aquarius, which all air signs do in, in one way or the other. Okay, but specifically for Sun in Aquarius, and in Sun, in, in Gemini, Mars in Aquarius, first house in Aquarius. Somebody who has been hiding that they're still in love with an ex, a Virgo, a model, an immigrant. This could be somebody like somebody like I said who's been of great help to someone here, or a helper, a butler. Somebody is gonna either confess or come to the full realization that they're still in love with this Virgo. I see some air signs being in a frequency of helping, humanitarianism, but more so, I don't want to say, because humanitarianism, that is more on a large scale. This is, you know, the, this help that I sense is more on an intimate, uh, smaller plane, which, which is where the intimacy comes about, okay? Um, on a smaller scale, and this is mostly towards people who they have wronged in the past. So, air signs receiving inheritances may want to use 
their inheritance to make up for their past wrongs. And I see some who, if not those, uh, who will believe in inheritances if they know they're going to pass, they're going to be passed in 2023, will believe in inheritances for the people or a particular person they've wronged. And um, it is specifically, not specifically, but especially for people who are sun in Aquarius, born during the year of the dog, and especially if they are sun in Aquarius, born during the year of the dog, and has an aspect uh, moon in Capricorn. That is like two, two, two hammered. It is indefinite. Uh, this is definitely somebody's going to pass. I sense. Um, because with the moon, with the moon frequency taking center stage next year, injustice being in that place. Air, I'm dealing with air and the moon placements. People's nature, that's the second house, and that's ruled by Venus as well as the seventh house, which is Libra. We got we, next year is moon and Libra. We got people's nature taking, taking place, taking, taking center stage. For somebody who's a Venus in Scorpio, that person is going to be the frequency of death. And I'm not saying this person is going to pass. This person, this person, because they're the frequency of death, they are going to, they're pretty much initiating death in people's lives. And that just came to me and I just had to say it. For somebody who's a Venus.